everyone! I'm Master Mark, and it's my pleasure to welcome you back to RimWorld. Now, in the last episode, we were at the end of the last episode. We set up the inside of our house with some paved steel went doors, and we were also attacked. We went ahead and we decided in a desperate fit to cook, to butcher the enemy, and to eat them. And Lagua, don't eat the human meat. Cook it first. Jeez, oh, Pete, we're not barbarians here. Cook, wait for a cooked meal, please. Sam! So, jeez, oh man. Consume milk? Fine, consume the milk if you gotta. Just somebody cook, please. Need materials. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, make pemmican. Uh, cook simple meal. We're gonna go ahead and say that, uh... Meat is back... Uh, nope, that's insect meat. There it is. Meat is back on the menu, boys. We are now cooking human meat. Don't have a whole lot of choice in the matter. We're hungry, and we need to. Speaking of hungry, we can't really afford to keep any of these animals around. Um, pregnant middle stage, bite, no injuries, no injuries, female age 7. We're gonna go ahead and kill this muffalo here. We're gonna butcher it. We need to butcher some of these animals because we can't afford to keep the food together to keep all of them. So we're going to go ahead and uh, butcher a couple of them. The two that have not been bonded to anyone. A muffalo is pregnant. Well, we're going to slaughter her. It's fine. We just got to go ahead and have someone go out and do it. Because food is desperate pretty right now. It's pretty desperate. But thankfully, if nothing else, the muffalo should just slaughter it. It's fine. The muffalo should provide enough food to keep us alive. Now slaughter it before it... There! Get it before it eats our food. Okay. Now we're gonna have to, uh, butcher it. And that should give us a good supply of food. If nothing else, it'll keep us alive. Yeah, ain't that nice. 150... 150 from a single muffalo. And there's even some more. We have some food. A local hare has gone bad. Oh! I didn't know there was hares around here. Bidjuero, just just go ahead and uh, melee attack it. Deal with the hair yourself. You should be able to take on a single hair by yourself. It shouldn't be that much of a problem. I know that in a couple episodes ago, episodes ago, we made the mistake of trying to take on like eight of them with like two people. But you know what? We're not going to make that mistake again. You know what? There was a rabbit here, so maybe there's some more animals around here. Where. <laughs> The, as, whoa! Hey there! Hey there! Hey there! Hey there! Didn't see you guys here. Maybe I didn't need to slaughter those muffalo at all. Maybe I should have looked around first. Well, I guess we found some caribou. That that's what I get. That's what I get. I I uh, I jumped before I looked. Now let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and heal him. Don't bother with any medicine. It's just minor wounds. Um, how warm is it inside? Negative two. Okay. It's time we set up another campfire, because apparently nobody remembered to do this one. Now please set it up. Please get that fire going, keep it nice and toasty in here. In our, uh, quote-unquote, nice room. It's terrible, it's really dirty, it's, it's pretty gross. We're just gonna pretend it's not a problem. Camino is apparently, needs treatment. Um, dark light, go ahead and... You know what? I guess not. Do- Oh, no, it's Lagua. Lagua probably needs treatment for her asthma. That's probably it. 14- Back up to 14 degrees inside. That's fine. That is fine. Also, we're gonna expand the build area up here by one more so that way stuff doesn't get bothered. The, uh, muffalo are indeed eating our meals, but that's the price to keep them alive and to keep getting milk from them. I think we're making a profit when it comes to uh, the food economics of the milk. I think we're gaining more than we are losing. You know what I mean? I know what I mean. We're, like, you know, they're, they're giving us more food by the milk than they're taking through the uh, eating of our meals. It's fine. Don't, don't eat it raw. Dude, just, just cook it. Just, just cook the meal. Don't eat raw muff. What, what the heck is going on here? You know what? Oh, oh. What the heck? Why is this? Un unpause that. Okay. That's fine. 
Sam, please don't do that. Don't do that, guys. Don't eat the raw food. You're not fine. Go ahead. Do it. See what I say. Whatever. It's fine. They don't want to eat it. They don't have to. They can go ahead and eat a bunch of raw meat. Whatever. Kamino has gone berserk. Great. And she has the knife. You know what? Everyone. Okay, everyone. Pile on. We just need to beat the crap out of her. It doesn't matter if she has a knife, nice knife. It's only her. Just beat the tar out of her. Just beat the tar out of her with your rifle butts. Okay, she's down. All right, we're good. Everyone, everyone, go, go back to your business. Um, some you, someone, go ahead and rescue her, so she doesn't get killed out in there. And someone, for gosh sakes, get that door out, get that out of the doorway, before we all freeze to death. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. It's fine. We're all good. Camino, uh, how is that? You know, you're bruised, but you shouldn't get infected. Camino's fine now. It'll take her a little while, but she'll still be fine. Those are minor knife cuts. No need for medicine. Don't dark light. Please don't use like that for those minor wounds. Who here can haul? Oh, Sam's hunting caribou for us. That's good. That's good. Now get us some more food. People don't want to eat, like, the human meat. I think the human meat meals... The human meat meals are being mostly eaten by the muffalo, which I say is a pretty good thing. We don't want to eat ourselves. It'll be a negative, like, mood effect on us. Now, hopefully, people will get up and get back to work. Because that's something we very much need done. We need to get work done. Thankfully, our little colony here is staying alive. Our only thing we can really do right now is wait out the winter. We can't really do an- it's too cold to move, and I don't want to risk any food anyways. Wait, did you have a- oh, you had a caribou. Bring the caribou back. I'm sorry. I didn't think- I didn't know I was interrupting that. My bad. I'm just a little- I'm just a little click happy. Just a little bit click happy. You back? Okay, now- now- now go ahead and build the roof, please. No? Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Sam. Just leaving our clothes and stuff out to rot, that's no big deal. Yes, it is a big deal. Get out there. Put the gosh dang roof on. Stop that. Stop being such a diva. We're, we're <laughs> da, da, God, dag nabbit. Stop that. We've got these graves here we could open up if we really want them, but those that's probably those people are probably dead. Okay, let's also increase the cook simple meals up to like 25. A new area has been revealed, huh? Oh, it's just metal. That's fine. Plenty of metal here. That's good. Yeah, you know maybe we'll set um make sculptures steel. Make them out of steel instead. You know what? Who's our best artist here? Who's our best artist? Bidiero? Go ahead and do art next time you get a chance. Go ahead and do it. You're hauling right now, and that's important and all, but... Next time you get a chance, go ahead and use the steel. And make us some nice art, so that way our people won't go crazy. Because we've had some mental breaks here. We've had quite a few. But we've also got quite a few meals, at least. Hey, so there's some milk. Nice, we can make meals out of that. Sam's out there hunting caribou, just as uh, we intended. Man, it is lucky that we found those guys. It is lucky we found the caribou. If we didn't, that- Whoa! Jackpot! Oh yeah, even more caribou. You know what? I think this winter might be fine. In fact, I think this winter might be a good chance to actually gain food. The only problem is, we can't make pemmican. We can't make pem me all this meat into pemmican. Because we don't have any vegetables to make with it. I swear, I wish these pe guys, they'd just make the meals. Just make meals. You don't have to, like, just not eat any. You don't have to eat the raw food. Just make the, just, just make the meals. Just make the meals, please. Just please do that for me. Please. Thank you. Thank you. That's much better. Okay, we've got a bit more roof now. Man, this 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 spot sucks. I mean, it was nice having the animals. Mental break, food binge. Dark light is picking out on food. You know what? That's fine. 
Go ahead and do it. You've had a rough couple of days. You can do that. You, it's fine. It's fine. You want pig out and raw meat? Go ahead and do it. Don't blame me when you get, like, some terrible stomach disease, though. Like, I don't know, caribou-itis or something. Mental break, berserk. Lagua has gone berserk. She didn't like eating a meal. You know what? She can go and be berserk out there. It's fine. As long as nobody, like, goes out there to try and grab the components, which I'm sure someone will, I know a certain someone that loves to go out and put himself in danger. Biduero. But everything should be fine. Someone feed Dark, Dark Light, please feed her. You know what? I probably didn't need to force him to do that. I'm just, I'm just hyperactive, I guess. I'm just a little nervous. I don't know what to do about it. Okay, Lagua's calmed down. That's good. Come back. Oh, there's a raid. Tribes people from Oguma have arrived. They're attacking immediately. There's three of them, so we should be fine. So let's go ahead and uh, draft our populace. We're gonna leave Dark Light behind. But everybody else, come on outside. That means you, Lagua. Come on outside. We're gonna form a firing squad. And we're just gonna get ready and we're just gonna shoot the crap out of them. Lagu, Camino, go, go get your, go get your knife. We might need it this time. Where are they coming from? They're coming from the middle. I see a spear and two clubs. This shouldn't be too bad. We should be fine here. They're gonna walk to us from around here, and we're just gonna sh fill them full of holes. We have, count them, three rifles. Three beautiful survival rifles which we're just gonna nail them with from miles away. They think that they own this area. They think that just because they and their buddies killed Bear back a few episodes ago, that they can walk in and take our stuff. Well, hopefully they're wrong. But it seems that maybe I overestimated our rifle abilities. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and uh, say, uh, emergency animal... <laughs> We're gonna call it the Animal Rush. Animals, please come help. Animals, get in here and fight these guys for me. Oh dang, we're getting some good hits. Getting some good hits on these guys. Oh yeah, we got one of them. Oh yeah, don't let him get away. Do not let him get away. Nice, okay, good, brilliant, amazing. That one, great. That's the best things. That's that's that was pretty great. That went pretty great. I'm I'm proud. I'm glad that happened this way. We're gonna leave. Uh, I think Lemur. Are you good? Are you good at anything? Hard worker. Depressive. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we can just like. Uh, I got an idea. I got a little bit of an idea here. Maybe we can just throw her in like a like a room somewhere. You know. Maybe like we throw her, we just throw her in here. And this will be a prisoner room. But first we gotta like put a door there. Put a wooden door and that'll be our little prisoner room. Actually we'll put the door like here. And then that'll be our little prisoner room. Yeah, I think that could be good. Um, this is no longer a no roof area. This is now a roof area. Um... What am I thinking? Okay, get rid of that. And now, all of you guys undrafted, Sam, go ahead and get that door, please. Let's get that in there. I feel like taking a prisoner today, I guess. That's just what I'm feeling. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the prisoner taking today. Biduero, did you get hurt? No, you didn't. You're fine. For whatever reason, no one is cooking. Please, someone refuel the... Refuel the, uh, thing anyways. Alright. Um, we're gonna go ahead and have people cook oh, as many meals as they can here. We're just gonna cook, like, 50 meals. Because I want a constant supply of food, both human and otherwise. And you know what? I'm gonna change the orders regarding meals. Um, pemmican will be human meat. Do I have that on here correctly? Yes, yes, yes. Do I? Do I? Do I? Pemmican is human meat. I'm changing the I'm changing the deal here. And meals will no longer be human meat. Pemmican's fine. 
We'll put that stuff in the pemmican. Our people are kind of freaking out a bit, though. This is now a prisoner room. Go ahead and strip lemur and then capture her. We're going to strip her so that way we can steal her clothes without the whole dead man's clothes option. And Sam's gone berserk. Sam has gone berserk. Uh, animals, please go away. Just, just leave Sam alone for a few minutes. Lemur is probably going to, uh... Just probably gonna freeze to death. Or bleed to death, whichever happens first. But you know what? That's fine. That's totally fine. And you know what? Because everyone's going crazy because of this whole human thing, we're gonna stop doing the whole human meat thing. I think that was a bad decision in the first place. I thought we were far more desperate than we actually were. It's fine. We don't need it. That's a really nice parka. That's a really nice parka. Somebody should get that nice parka. Sam, if you calm down, I'll give you that nice parka. There we are. Okay. Now you wear that really nice parka. And capture a lemur. That's a good parka. I'm gonna give someone that good parka. How's your parka? Good? Okay. How's your parka? Normal? Take the good parka. Take that real good parka. Yeah. It's good stuff. Uh, how's the hat? 94. How's your hat? 62. Tarot Apparel. Camino, how's your hat? 37. You can have that fancy hat. You can have the nice hat. There you are. Okay, that's better. Severe illness. Lemur is like really, really sick. Hi serious hyperthermia. Uh, I don't like that. This is a, you know what, this is a steam geyser. This should provide enough heat. You know what, it doesn't stay in, that's a problem. This is indoors. Yeah, the steam doesn't actually stay inside though, that's the problem. I don't understand how the whole heat distribution from steam geysers go. I don't get it. You know what, just, 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 just kick her out. Just tell her to get out of here before she dies. So that way it's not my problem. Who's in charge of this prisoner? Who's in charge of this prisoner? Bidiero, are you in charge of her? I don't know. Whoever's in charge of her, just, just like, uh, tell her to get lost. So that way we can, uh, I don't know. So that way when she, when she dies, which she probably will, it won't be mu we won't get, a, like, a debuff from a dead prisoner. Or anything like that. Also, let's put down some graves for these bodies. What the heck am I thinking? How did I forget that? Lagua, are you up right now? You are. Somebody hunt that caribou. Ooh. It was a godsend having those caribou come in. That was great. That really did us a lot of good. Gave us a lot of meat. Hey, Portia's pregnant. Portia, the uh, muffalo, is now pregnant. That's good. It's the 9th of December. Um, that means that winter is halfway over. Halfway at the least. Before long, it's going to be spring, and we're going to be ready to move on out and find greener pastures. And by greener pastures, I, of course, mean crossing the mountains. So for now, we should look for, like, raspberries and stuff to make pemmican. Pemmican, pemmican, pemmican. That's what we need, people. Pemmican. I need that sweet, sweet pemmican, which we can use to make actual, like, <laughs> we can make some travel food with. But for now, we're just going to hunt these animals and get some, get some meat. We've got lots of meat. We've got lots of meat and a good supply of meals. And that's really good for us. But really, we need to be ready to pick up and leave come time. I think we're going to have to build a bigger roof here. Let's build that one more out by the corners. And build this one more out by the corners. We've gathered a lot of stuff by being out here. We've gathered a lot of stuff. How's your gear, buddy boy? Normal. A group of travelers are passing by. Good for them. Good for them to come into my neighborhood and say hi. Good, f good of them. At least we're making some stuff out of all of our textiles. We're making some tribal wear. Some tribal wear. Do forever. That should make us some money when we next pass a friendly city. In fact, I think we're right next to a fa friendly city. Now, Sam, will you please uh, go ahead and bury... Will someone please go ahead and bury those bodies? Thank you very much. 
That's very helpful. It's very, very helpful to keep things nice and clean. The inside of our settlement... You know what? This was a pretty place... It, I wish we had worked on more of it before the winter, you know? I wish I had done the coal paved inside before the winter, so that way I would have been more prepared. But I think it's about time that we, like, mine out the rest of the steel or something. Yeah, she's prob... Yeah, this whole... Oh, she's got frostbite. Yeah, she's dead. She's she's pretty much dead. You know, get, get her out of here. Ugh, we can't bring her into the main house. Oh my god, the door's open. Who left the door open? That was the problem. The door was open. What was I thinking? Jeez, oh, Pete's. I am an idiot. I left the door open. I can't... Oh my god. Her left big toe's gone due to frostbite. Her blood loss is pretty bad and so is the hypothermia. But hey, whatever. Ooh, ooh, lemur. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. I didn't realize that that was so bad. My bad. My bad, man. My bad. Your animal skill's pretty good. What's our current animal skill? Twelve. Do we need another animal ham handler? What's the difficulty to recruit? 82%? Probably more trouble than it's worth. We'll just let her leave as soon as, like, we get a chance. Then maybe the, uh, pirates will leave us alone a little more. She's no longer incapable of that. Okay. And now it's, like, 50 degrees in there and she's getting heat stroke. Okay. Okay, it's, it's a game of extremes. We gotta go in there, open the door, and then close the door. Open the door, close the door. Open the go- <laughs> It goes from 54 degrees Celsius. Oh my god, like 80 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's like a... Oh my god. This is like a terrible torture to her, it must be. She's get... She she went from like heat... From, from frostbite to heat stroke. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Lemur. I didn't realize what I was doing. I'm so sorry. A Glitter World... Okay, who is this? A Glitter World Surgeon calls you from nearby. Harvey Ladange is being chased from the League of Aguma. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. He's 65. He is Lagua's father. Do we need another set of hands? You know what? Why not? We could use an... You know what? As long as he can fight, and he's a good shot. Hey, welcome to the well, and he's a hard worker. Cyclic doll. Hey, welcome to the team, buddy. But again, he did bring some trouble with him, so we're just gonna have to grab some rifles and resume yesterday's position. Ladange, get back here, get some clothes, and get ready to party. Camino, you get out here too. Looks like we've got a bit of a war pack. Ooh, that's quite a few of them. That's quite a few of them. That's a lot more than last time. Okay. Raid relationship. Archer, lobster, lover, warrior, lima. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Ladon, just get back here, get some clothes on, and grab a weapon. We should be okay. Hmm. Okay. I think they're gonna go and try and grab lemur. I think that's what they're gonna try to do. If that's all they wanna do... I, I'd be fine just letting them go. Just letting them take her and go. But I doubt that's all. That, that, they won't just do that and leave, I don't think. Okay. We're raining in our shot. Nice! One down. One in, one shot down. Nice. Now we just gotta work on taking these guys out. Okay. Now, Lange, go ahead and grab that gun for me, please. Now, if you could get out here and help out, that'd be great. Okay, now time to work on the old, uh, animal bum rush tactic. Um, animal, go ahead and rush mole there. Animals, go ahead and rush that archer up there. The animal area three or whatever. Okay, they're running away. They're running away. Just fill them full of holes on their way out. We won here. Victory! Great! And we got a couple of captives, too. Strip them. Strip them to take their clothes. 
and then we'll throw them into the uh, in the in, into the into the heat stroke pit. We're gonna have to expand it first, though. Ho oh, ho! Welcome to the party, Lange. Lange, welcome to the party. What's your doctor? Six. Dude, for real, you're a surgeon and your medicine is only six? I gotta say, I'm kind of underwhelmed. But you know what? You're good art, and you're good shooting. You know what? Welcome to the team, bud. Art is now on two. We're gonna put hunting on three. Warden on... Don't worry about wardening. Don't worry about flicking. Bed rest one. Patient. I'm gonna put, like, doctor on three. Firefight one, cleaning one, hauling two. Okay, we're good. Now, Sam, go ahead and we're going to want to, like, heal these. We're going to want to patch up and here's the deal. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to patch them up. I'm trying to patch them up so that way we can actually, like, release them. And then they won't, uh... Then they won't hate us so much. You know, I'm trying to get these people to be like, Hey, maybe our tribe ain't so bad. That being said, we're doing a pretty bad a job of it, considering how badly our good ol' our, our friend here is doing. She's not doing very well. Okay, she's escaping? Am I gonna stop her? You know what? I am. Am I gonna stop her? You know what? Let her go. Let her go. Let her go! It's fine. We'll just capture Cobra instead. In safe temperature. Who let- Oh, that's right, we- Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I am such an idiot. Close the door, please. Okay, Lemur, I'm gonna have to ask you to, uh, stop. I'm just gonna go ahead and have to melee attack you. You done? Okay, she's done. Now capture her. And throw her back in. Now let's get another captive sleeping spot in there. Sam, if you could please capture Cobra, that'd be great. Oh man, I am so- I left the door- what was I thinking? Leaving the door open. Jeez, oh Pete's. Who would have thought that'd be a good idea? I guess I did. I was freaking out because of the heat and everything. Alright. Wait a minute, Lugua, since when do I have you- oh, that's right. When, when I had you on Doctor because Darklight freaked out. Darklight, could you please, like, tend to these dudes? Cobra has died due to blood lost. Okay, Cobra's dead. Darklight, can I have you do anything? You know what, just go ahead and, go ahead and, like, release Lemur. It's fine. Just, just get her out of here. Just get her out of my place. Get her out of my, get her out of my general area. She has minor hypothermia, but as long as she gets to the end of the map, she's not my problem anymore. Oh, look, some Ibex. Nice. We'll, we'll take those, and, and we'll make some meat out of them. Boy, oh boy, we have a lot of meat. Now, if we can just cook these into meals. Now, let's see. What is our colony's, like, a uh, heat tolerance? Um, negative 20, negative 34, negative 52, negative 49, negative 48. I think we'll be ready to pick up and go soon. You know what, I think we'd be ready to pick up and go, like... I think we have enough food now to where we could just, like, pick up and move now. But then we'd have to deal with the outside. You know what, no. We don't move and we don't want to move yet, yet. I don't think. Because our meals will rot soon. Actually, let me look at the world here. And let me look at our options. Now, how long would it take for us to cross... Like, uh, hmm, there, there, through a little mountain pass there. Ten days. Ugh. I think we might have to just fight our way through here. That'd be five and a half days. You know what? It's not much of a difference. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me while I think about map planning. So go from, like, here to here. And through there. Like, through there. Yeah. I think we'll take this mountain pass here when we have to. 
Because I don't want to have to fight these tribes people here. The League of Oguma. Or whatever they're called. I don't want to do that. That doesn't sound like fun to me. So we're just going to keep on working on... Finish things up here. We're waiting out the winter, as they say. Our animals are fine. Now, we've gathered quite a bit of wealth. So as I said, before we leave to cross the mountain, we're gonna have to go and visit these guys to sell some stuff, you know? Buy and sell. Maybe they'll have pemmican or something, I don't know. Because right now, we don't have any vegetables, which means we can't make pemmican, which means we are dependent on meat. On all of our food not freezing, I mean. We are completely dependent on the idea of our food not freezing. And when, when the uh, spring comes, we'll at least be able to feed the animals on uh, grass. At least. So we're just kind of waiting things out here before we cross the mountains. Oh hey! Small steel sculpture. Let's go ahead and move that inside. That'll, that'll be a nice for everyone. Everyone will like that. Yay! That increases the beauty quite a bit. That's real good. I like that. Great job, whoever made that. You did. That's a goodie. That's a goodie. What's this? Hey! Just when I said we didn't have anything to... Oh, Lemur died. Okay. I guess Lemur didn't make it out of here after all. Maybe, maybe I le maybe I should have let her keep her clothes to survive. Okay. We'll make meals and make some pemmican. These potatoes actually should be in could be enough. Like if we take all this meat here. This will be a good supply of pemmican. So let's see, this is 10 food units, and then that'll be 16 pemmican. Okay. That'll be some good traveling food. We just gotta cook everything up. Remember kids, waste not, want not. If we make pemmican, we won't have to worry about you know, all this meat. We got all this meat here. Mm. Maybe I should set up, you know what? I'm gonna have another person do cooking. They're gonna make pemmican, they're gonna do it forever, right there as well that way I can have two people cooking who do I have on cooking right now I need to have another person on cooking hey we finished stone cutting that's nice it's probably too late to start on that it's too late to start on that but hey let's work on complex clothing now so that way next winter we can actually make our own clothing or next time we need to stop anyways we can make clothing instead of being dependent on other people's clothing to come by but yeah, we're making pemmican. Fidiero! We're out of wood. We are now out of wood, so we're gonna have to go ahead and order some chopping of wood. So that way we can fuel the stove. And the fires, you know, keep us warm. But yeah, that'll be something they're working on. Everyone's busy with something or other, except for Lagua, who's sleeping. Fidiero's gonna go harvest a tree. But yeah, we made some good progress in the episode. We dealt with our food problem, we hunted a whole bunch of caribou. We've got our animals out there wandering around. I should just tell them to unrestrict it. Okay, there we are, that's better. All right, and as I was saying, I think that's everything. You know what, they're gonna eat a bunch of our food, but you know what, that's fine, that's fine. Just go ahead and do it, I don't care. All right, but I think that's everything. They've got the pemmican going. Yeah, all right, so let's wrap this episode up here. Thank you everyone. I've been Master Mark. I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to like it. If you want to say anything about it, feel free to say so in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Bye! Mm -hmm.